but the biggest, probably the most fundamental problem for these animals is entanglement in fishing nets. And there is no porpoise species that is not affected by this. There is no place in the world where these animals are not at risk of entanglement in fishing gear, whether it's active fishing gear or whether it is discarded fishing gear, of which there is a lot. It's called ghost fishing. And derelict gear is out there. It's out there right now. And it will still catch animals. That's what it was designed for. The derelict gear, however, will be floating. It will collect the animals because they swim into it. They don't know that it's there. When it's full of dead animals, it will sink to the bottom. The animals will get consumed. It will then go back up, and the cycle continues. And this is a huge problem. And I will just reiterate, it is not just for porpoises, but for all of the marine wildlife that are out there. This is a big problem on our planet. But for the porpoises, it is probably one of the biggest problems around the world because we know that it, it occurs with every species. And we also know that they don't get out alive unless there is somebody there to help them. And I was fortunate enough to do some work on bycatch in British Columbia a number of years ago. And the good news was, because our fisheries have got attendant nets, that when a porpoise did get entangled, the rate of release was very, very high. Because our, on our coast, everybody's very much aware, fishermen included, about the risks to these animals. That is not the case for many places in the world, because in many places, even the active fishing gear is, is unattended. It's left perhaps overnight or sometimes for days at a time. And in those situations, these animals have no chance at all. <laughs>